we gave you the big build-up before the game. We did a piece on your free kicks, and we looked at where all your goals came from with your free kicks. And we looked on the other side. You see all those red dots there in yeah. that sort of left side. Yeah. And on the other side, you haven't got, but you nearly scored from one tonight, didn't you? Yeah. On that fact. Is that something you've been looking at to score sort of free kicks from that other side of the box? Yeah, I know it's a weakness of mine. Um, it's something that I have worked on, but I think the the natural right foot side is just something that you know suits my eye it's just it's just it's just a preference of mine but um it's coming it's coming and um yeah i'm getting closer so hopefully the next one you, you mentioned that you're working on it and there's something that i think you also work on is you do impressions don't you <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. are we done <laughs> <laughs> you must come on a neville have you got a neville one I'll save it for another day. Oh, I'll save it for another day. We give you the biggest build-up. I wasn't prepared for this, otherwise I would have done it. We give you the biggest build-up on the set pieces. Torch there, you can see Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few more, but I'll save it for another day. You've got a You've got a general scouty. You know <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you could stay, and then we can just get rid yeah, of those yeah, two. That would, be, that would be absolutely yeah. ideal yeah. for that. No, seriously, thank you so much for coming out to talk to us. It's cold. You'll want to go in and get all sorted. So thanks very much, Ariel. Thank you very much, James. And Cheers, well done on the you. win. Well done, lads. Thank, thank you. you. Well done. Cheers, thank you. Well done, man. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. I tell you what, it's not bad at all in terms I tell you of the impression. many people can do me, but he's pretty good actually. Yeah. <laughs> but listen, you, you talked both of you about with, with the guys about the partnership. Yeah. Is that something that, that they, those partnerships all over the pitch? Is that something that's that's clicking for them? And is that one of the reasons that we're starting to see these these better results? Yeah, and particularly I think with Ward Prowse, I, I have to say that you know watching him as a young England under 21 player when I was working with Roy, we were thinking about bringing him up. And at that time, he was right side of a midfield four or he was a midfield three. And you think of him being one of those free ones that would run forward. If he'd said to me, he'd be playing in a midfield two, you know, balancing off a sort of another central midfield player, I would have said, no, I don't see that. So seeing him as he's played tonight with maturity and composure and dropping into that sort of what would be that false fullback position when the fullbacks go forward and he's the one that's dictating the play. His understanding of the game is improving, his maturity. He's getting to that point whereby he's a player I'm trying to think of another really who, to be fair, his career sort of like just gradually gets better and better all the way through, whereby by the end of his career, he'll be a really top player. He's a top player now at Southampton, but he's been able to build a real bank of games and his maturity and develop his game without the big spotlight on him in terms of a bit of a big club. But I can see it coming for him. I know Southampton fans won't want to hear that, but there's been a lot of talk in the last few months, hasn't there, about him sort of moving on and sort of that next step, getting in the England squad. And you can see his performance tonight is a completely different level than where he was at four or five years ago. We had the quality but you never really understood what his position was is he a wide in the midfield four is he a midfield three player and tonight I feel like he's gone you know England and I and I don't think blessed in the central midfield anyway so I think that to be fair he's got a big chance now of going to a World Cup I think with England at the end of the year and it's always good to hear when a, when a player is getting towards the, the top of, of their game that they're looking to improve constantly as, as he was talking about yeah, and that, and that bodes well. I think what, the big thing that improved was certainly his technical quality has always been there, his delivery set pieces on the ball. But I think what the manager he's got and his sort of style of play is, is initially about really pressing, getting after people. And if you looked at Ward Prowse before the manager came in, you might say he's a little bit soft. What's he like off the ball? Is he, is he strong enough to play central midfield? And that's where Gary's mentioned about him playing different positions because I'm sure managers always felt he's not strong enough to play in the two. But now alongside him and Romeo, that's, that's a massive part of this Southampton team. And, and I touch on Romeo, you can tell he's played for some really good clubs. I think he's been at Barcelona, he's been at Chelsea. He obviously lacks something because he, he didn't stay at those clubs, maybe a bit of mobility. But his actual understanding of the game, his class on the ball, it, it really shines through.